Leviticus 5. And today uh, we're finishing reading the laws for sin offerings and also laws for guilt offerings. We're going to start that. So we started off with the laws for sin offerings, talking about the different sacrifices that the, the Aaron would make and the priests would make and the common people would make. So we're going to continue to move on. So if anyone sins in that he hears a public adjuration to testify, an adjuration, I made a note because I had to look it up, was earnest urging. Someone's earnestly urging you to, you know, to help you to confess the sin, to get you to do something, right? So if anyone sins and that he hears a public adjuration to testify, and though he is a witness, whether he has seen or come to know the matter, yet he does not speak, he shall bear his iniquity. Or if anyone touches an unclean thing, whether a carcass of an unclean wild animal or a carcass of unclean livestock or a carcass of unclean swarming things, and it is hidden from him and he has become unclean and he realizes his guilt, or if he touches human, human uncleanness of whatever sort of the uncleanness may be with which one becomes unclean, and it is hidden from him when he comes to know it and realizes his guilt. Or if anyone utters with his lips a rash oath to do evil or to do good, any sort of rash oath that people swear, and it is hidden from him when he comes to know it and he realizes his guilt in any of these. When he realizes his guilt in any of these and confesses the sin he has committed, he shall bring to the Lord as his compensation for the sin that he has committed a female from the flock, a live or a lamb or a goat for a sin offering. And the priest shall make atonement for him for his sin. But if he cannot afford a lamb, then he shall bring to the Lord as his compensation for the sin that he has committed two turtle doves or two pigeons, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. And he shall bring them to the priest who shall offer first the one for the sin offering. He shall wring its head from its neck, but shall not sever it completely. And he shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar, while the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. Then he shall offer the second for a burnt offering according to the rule and the priest shall make atonement for him for the sin that he has committed and he shall be forgiven but if he cannot afford two turtle doves or two pigeons then he, sh then he shall bring us his offering for the sin that he has committed a tenth of ephah of fine flour for a sin offering he shall put no, no oil on it and shall put no frankincense on it for it is a sin offering and he shall bring it to the priest and the priest shall take a handful of it as its memorial portion and burn this on the altar on the Lord's food offering it is a sin offering Offering. Thus the priest shall make atonement for him for the sin which he has committed in any of these things, and he shall be forgiven. And the remainder shall be for the priest as in the grain offering. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, If anyone commits a breach of faith and sins unintentionally in any of the holy things of the Lord, he shall bring to the Lord as his compensation a ram without blemish out of the flock valued in silver shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary for a guilt offering. He shall also make restitution for what he has done amiss in the holy thing and shall add a fifth to it and give it to the priest. And the priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of the guilt offering and he shall be forgiven. If anyone sins doing any of these things that by the Lord's commandments ought not to be done, though he did not know it, then he realizes his guilt. He shall bear his iniquity. He shall bring to the priest a ram without blemish out of the flock or its equivalent for a guilt offering. And the priest shall make atonement for him for the mistake that he made unintentionally and he shall be forgiven. It is a guilt offering. He has indeed incurred guilt before the Lord. 